and click Create. We're going to pick the right knee, the right uh, lateral malleolus, and the right tibia. Click Create again, and we notice that we are indeed creating the same things on the right side of the body as we did on the left side. And finally, let's do right foot. Okay, And we're going to click Create, and again, uh, lateral malleolus. Uh, MT5, MT2, and calcaneus, and click create. Okay, that's it. Our segments are done. That's good. Now we have a bunch of unlabeled dots here. <clears throat> we need to label those. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's, we're not going to worry about doing the joints. Uh, again, we're not going to do any calculations within Nexus. We're going to do, we're going to do them within Nexus, but we're going to use uh, a plugin over here in our pipeline uh, area processing which is, uh, no, sorry, uh, workstation operations, and it's going to be to perform static and dynamic body language modeling. Okay, so uh, that's good. We'll, we'll get to that later, but let's go ahead and let's uh, give our dots labels. Okay, so um, if we click on these dots, we'll notice that uh, Vicon uh, Nexus will indicate which dot we're looking at in the world. Okay, so what we can do is we can now label these. So this is going to be L-A-S-I, and I, I do ask that you use these labels that I'm using, okay? Uh, all these dots are going to be required, and leave the radius alone because those are the ones that we use for now, okay? So just go ahead and, and follow my example here. So then uh, we're going to do uh, right ASI, and going down the chain here, we're going to do LPSI and RPSI. And so it's actually going to be in the order that we, we labeled the dots. So this is going to be L, K, N, E. And then next is going to be uh, L, F, E, M. And then L, T, I, B. And uh, that's going to be, uh, oops, I missed one. Sorry, I made a mistake. Let's uh, make sure that I get that. So that's going to be. L A N K, I'm going to call that. Uh, then this is going to be L M T five. Oops, five, and uh, that's going to be L M T two, and this is going to be L H E E, right for heel. Okay, so same thing on the other side, uh, starting with now R K N E, and R F E M. And so now this is uh, R A N K and uh, R T I B, okay. And then now this is going to be R M T five and R M T two and R H E E. Okay, so that's it. Um, let's see. Um, the, some of these are going to say optional because it's the fourth dot on the segment. Just go ahead and leave that alone for right now. That, that, that's going to be fine. Um, everything is now labeled, and now we can go over here and we can look at our labeling, and we'll see that we can indeed uh, now label these dots. What we want to do at this point is, um, there's a couple of things we can do, but for right now, what we want to do is we want to uh, we want to right click on the subject name and we want to save this model uh, first save the model and that that will save our model and then we want to save this model as a template so we can use this same labeling scheme in these same segments for any subject in the class we just have to put in new anthropometric parameters per that subject so I'm gonna ask that you save uh, the um, uh, the file into your documents, which is going to be my mocap students under Vicon and HS601. Let's just save it right here and let's call this uh, mocap 2009 uh, setup. Okay, and that's good. So now, we, what we did here was we saved uh, our subject, Matt D, uh, using this same. Uh, using this setup, and we also save this as a template so that we can apply it to other subjects within the course of the class. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to save our file. Okay, um, what we'll eventually want to do is we'll want to run the calibration, the subject calibration on this file, so that 
Uh, say, for example, you know, we want to know that standing still, it's going, you know, the hip, hip knee, and ankle angles. Uh, we want to know what the offsets are so that we can zero those out. Uh, we'll do that later uh, in the next video tutorial. I just wanted to get you set up for right now. Okay, so and so let's let's kind of uh, play this on here, and we'll see that. Well, lo and behold, um, the program automatically tracked the dots throughout the. Uh, the whole uh, video sequence or the, the data sequence and and that's good usually when the subject doesn't move that will happen uh, a lot of times with really basic movements it the, it'll track the whole thing automatically when you do more complex things this this uh, is unlikely to happen anyway so now that we're saved let's go ahead and um, open up uh, let's go back to data management and let's open up, oh, and you'll notice that this now has a green P for a processed file. That just means that all the dots, or some of the dots, have been tracked, and uh, in this case, all of them have. So now let's go ahead and open up walking one, okay? So now, walking one, notice, because we're in the same subject, um, we uh, have the same setup, right? And it allows us to track. The first thing we need to do for this now is we need to reconstruct uh, the dots, and we're going to uh, we're going to clip the video so that it is going to uh, start with an area that the subject is in the capture volume. Okay, so it's looking to me like this is frame 227 is a good place to start. So we're just going to clip this. Uh, let's say 225. One of the dots is missing, so let's indeed go to 227. Okay, so now we can zoom out a bit and we can see where everything starts to disappear which is uh, right about here so let's go ahead and clip the end of the sequence at 513 so we bring that in and uh, let's even bring it at 500 it, it, we don't need that last little end there okay so now we can turn this to the side and see what we get okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to track this and this is a nice easy sequence so my guess is everything's going to track quite nicely Okay, so now let's zoom in, and we need to learn how to really work in three dimensions, okay? So we always have to zoom and rotate, pan, and strafe. Okay, so now I notice that one of my dots is missing in the first frame, so I do indeed want to bring this over to where all the dots are present in the first frame. That makes things much easier, okay, and I did. So, uh, again, there is what we have. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start over here in our labeling, uh, manual labeling. Now we could try to do this automatically. Again, I, I don't find that it works that well, and this isn't this doesn't take all that much effort. So we're just going to learn how to do this. So I'm going to label the dots. Go and it. I, I have auto advanced selection selected. So what you're going to notice is that's going to go down the sequence. After you do the first frame, you're probably going to want to turn that off, and, and I'll explain why later. But